<laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> the one and only Joe Biden in Florida just a couple of hours ago on the campaign trail. <laughs> Telling the crowd. Ironically, we have a video of him on our site from today from the same thing. Him saying, I'm being a good Biden today. I'm being a good Biden. (laughs) Oh, good. Which, if you are like that big picture on Drudge, I don't think you're being a good Biden if you say something like that. But P.S., who says that? Like, (laughs) besides maybe my four-year-old cousin or something. That's true. Catherine Timph is back, ladies (laughs) and gentlemen, uh, from Mm -hmm. Times247.com. I hope you're feeling better. Yeah, a little better. Well, a lot better. Okay. Better. Okay. I mean, you look fine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, last week you looked like a truck hitcher. But, Thank you. Know, you. But, hey, you know, you've come around. You know, Thank just, you. Was that wrong, Ann? Was that wrong? I should have said that. That's okay. okay. Maybe I'll start wearing makeup to work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ah, don't do it on my account. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what else is up there? Uh, 16 Fisker Karmas exploded in New Jersey during Sandy. 16 Fisker? 16 of them blew up. Why they blow they up? They weren't charging. They just went under the water and then oh, bam. Oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah. So they were um, they were in the process of being charged. They weren't. They oh, were they not. Weren't? They weren't. They were just. They got wet. Oh, they got wet. <laughs> they you can't get them too wet. wet. Well, they got submerged. I'm sure. I don't, oh, I don't okay. know. Oh, okay. Well, then it's what if it's out? raining hard and you're driving around? I know. Boom. Oh God, that's awful. It's horrible. It's so and they're a hundred grand a piece or something that, like right. that. Right. So we lost a couple million dollars worth uh-huh. of uh, Fiskers. Just for uh, some special effects. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, that is nuts. All right, what else? Mm-hmm. Did you uh, see this Axelrod thing? If Romney wins either Michigan, Minnesota, oh, yeah. or Pennsylvania, he's going to yeah. shave his 40-year-old mustache? Right, yeah. That's gross. Yeah, that is gross. Yeah, hang on a second. I think I have that. I can only rely on the information uh, that I have that I, that I count on that is uh, uh, solid research. I, I will come on Morning Joe and I will shave off my mustache of 40 years if we lose any of those three states. And I think they know that as hold well. On, hold on. But okay, I think wait, they're in a wait, position wait, wait, wait. Hold on, well, hold on um, a second. Now, you're going to do that on air? 29. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, I can contribute to one of the so super packs. So, my if you lose Minnesota... 40 years. <laughs> It's You're not allowed, it's you, know? A, you know, it's, it's just Pennsylvania. That's enough. That's enough. Pennsylvania, Minnesota, or Michigan. Yep. If uh, Romney wins any of those states, then Axel Wright has to come on MSNBC and have his uh, mustache shaved. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, I would love to be able to do that. To I would shave volunteer. It? Yeah. yeah. I would volunteer. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, look what happened. <laughs> I think it would have been better if he shaved half of it. Yeah, that would be funny. Yeah. Make him walk around for a couple of weeks exactly. with half as much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, what else? Something here about the efficiency of government. According to numbers by the Census Bureau and Congressional Research Service, uh, the federal government spent enough on welfare in 2011 to write every poor family, every household, a check for $59,523. Yeah, you know, I saw that. And that does not include Medicare or Social Security. Right. So this is all the other uh, mm-hmm. welfare programs, mm-hmm. all the other programs, programs within the welfare system. If you wipe them out entirely, anybody <laughs> at the poverty level or below, $23,000 a year or below, would instantly go to well in the case of those making right at the line twenty three thousand yeah. they'd be up at eighty three thousand yeah. bucks a year yeah. and just think of the bureaucracy the change you would have one center that dispersed the checks right okay here it is here's the money here's for this is for you that's for you that's for you not all of these government programs but everyone wants their little pet project program I care yeah. about this specific thing and I, it's got nothing to do with you know actual actually helping people. Yeah. Wow. Which is why, you know, the government, another example of them not doing anything efficiently and should kind of get out of it. Mm-hmm. Yes, so. that's our that's our government at work. <laughs> All right, what else? Um, Claire McCaskill, her and her husband pocketed $20 million bucks from, ah, from, really? the, from the federal stimulus for his real estate project. Yeah, there's some dirty dealing going on there. Evidently, he actually had people in the Senate dining room making deals, mm-hmm. uh, some kind of real estate transactions and things, that, and, and that's not supposed and, to happen. And if you can remember, she was really involved in passing the stimulus bill. She was on the floor. She was releasing yeah. press statements. She obviously voted for it. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I mean that's that's a pretty big chunk of change for yeah. your I yeah. don't know it's just disgusting. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Uh yeah. Um, 
Biden, did you hear another thing? Did you say, he said yesterday, transgender bias is the civil rights issue of our time. Yeah, I kind of saw that. I thought, you know, I'm going to let you go on that one, Joe, because. I mean, it. there's just too much. Yeah. And he's being a good Biden today. That's right. He is. The good Biden. A good Biden. Yep. Yeah. All right. Very good. Uh, we'll check out good Biden and uh, <laughs> other things at times247.com. Uh, great to have you back. Thanks. Mm-hmm. See you later. Catherine Timp, the editor of times247.com. It's 436. Stay tuned. 